Today is a gift, a fresh opportunity to change your life with God's Word. It is our prayer that this day-to-day -day devotional by Ben and Kay Ahibet Jr. will do just that. December 14th, make some room for God. Bible verse to ponder upon. The forces have holes and the beds of heaven have a resting place, but the Son of Man has nowhere to put his head. Matthew chapter 8 verse 20, Bible in basic English. The world is in a global financial meltdown, and the world vacancy is one that so many people will want to hear and take advantage of. Today, however, I speak of a different kind of vacancy, one that only God can take advantage of. Since God sent His only Son into the world, He has had to deal with no vacancy signs from us. At His birth, Jesus did not have a room at the inn because, according to the innkeeper, there was no room for them in the inn. A stable manager got the honor of hosting the Savior of the world when he led the almost due pregnant virgin into his stable. God does not want an office space in your nice building or just a room to let. He gently knocks on the door of your heart. As much as you go about making your life and your home a comfortable place for yourself and those around you, remember also to make your heart comfortable for God to dwell in. He does not want anything more than a place in your heart to rest and you can be rest assured that when you offer him your life and your home, his peace will never depart from you. This is what the Bible means by a peace that passes human understanding. You can create space for God by creating space for others. Serve people and by doing so you'll be serving a God you have not seen. Because after you worship God on Sunday, you have to serve men from Monday to Friday in one way or the other. Mary and her sister were two people way back who understood too well what it means to make a home for God. Hence, they made Jesus spiritually and physically comfortable at their home. The Bible tells us that Mary, Martha, and their brother Lazarus were friends of Jesus. Jesus went ahead to hold a banquet in their home simply because they had room for him. This became the same family for whose Lazarus Jesus wept and raised from the dead. The truth is that when God has a place in your heart, not only can he reach you faster, but you can reach him faster. Today. As you draw up your schedule or plan to renovate or redecorate your home, by all means, make a space for God. You never know how He will come, maybe no longer as a pregnant virgin about to deliver, but as a little boy who needs a mentor, an old man who needs help crossing the road, or even as a bereaved person who needs some human comfort. Let us pray and repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I open up my heart afresh to you. I make room for you and enthrone you in my heart to dwell as king. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our Bible reading plan for today is Jonah chapter 1 verse 1 to Jonah chapter 4 verse 11, Revelation chapter 5 verse 1 to 14, Psalm 133 verse 1 to 3, Proverbs chapter 29 verse 26 to 27. The Lord bless you and keep you. Happy 